In No Man's Sky, we're trying to create this infinite procedural universe. First place that we start is here with this galactic map. And we actually generate this entire galaxy of stars and every single one of those stars has its own solar system with planet-sized planets filled with, with life and ecology. And so here we are, are on a planet in that this is a planet-sized planet. Like I can walk in any direction for days and days and weeks and weeks if I want and I'll walk all the way around the planet eventually and come right back around to where I started. Everything that you see around you is generated. So the terrain, the water, the trees, the foliage, and the life on the planet, the creatures, they're generated and they're generated by maths. The input to the maths is where you're stood um, and the output is everything that's on screen. So if two people go to the same planet, they'll see exactly the same thing. If I go to a planet, I will always see the same thing, but it's generated there and then. It's put on the graphics card, it's rendered to the screen. And if I fly away, then it's all just thrown away. But if I come back again, it will be generated again exactly the same way because, because of maths, and maths always works out the same. So all we have to do as programmers is just create the algorithms that create the things that you see, the terrain, everything else, the creatures. A fish is created as like almost like a silhouette by our artists, and then the code basically mutates and changes that. Our artists create a fish, and then they can create, the, the code the program creates every variant of fish that you can imagine. So if I click this button, which allows me to view variants, then you'll see that you get just an array of fish, and I can select any of those, and I can view variants of them. And I can just do that hundreds of times, and I will see hundreds of different variants. That's kind of how we generate creatures, and it's not just creatures, it's buildings, it's all the life that you see around you, so fish and birds, but also ships and even your weapon. The terrain is kind of procedurally generated too. The terrain is being generated around me and it generates around you in higher and higher detail. Normally that would be created by an artist. For us, it's just created by maths. i just give you an example. I can just quickly click generate and get like a new terrain basically and we'll get new features, new mountains, new rock formations, that kind of thing. This is all within the same planet so it doesn't change the creatures and stuff right now but it gives you a sense of how powerful this is and like underwater you're getting these kind of crazy ravines and everything just works, you know, fish will just inhabit these, ships will just land at buildings that automatically get placed, AI will just work around it. And that's because everything is kind of working off these same algorithms. But what's cool is that this simulation is kind of happening not just at a kind of micro level like this, where you have life and creatures, but it's also happening at a kind of a, a larger scale. So if I like, start to zoom out, you can see that even though there are like shoals of fish down here, there's a whole planet out there just kind of working away. And this is happening at that that kind of planetary level, but it's also happening at a more like solar system level and a more galactic level. So I can just pull out of this quite quickly and you can see moons of that planet, uh, which will be orbiting around other planets kind of hanging around in the distance. And those stars out in the sky are actually like real places. It's not just a drawing of some stars. Those are kind of light of distant suns that will have their own solar systems just like this. That's what's really different about No Man's Sky. That's the thing that's unique. It's that infinite universe is, is real. And so it makes sense to kind of go out and explore it. And people who play the game will be exploring it in a very real way.